YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil, coming through with another sneaker rotation, Weekly 7. Thank you everybody that's been watching my previous videos and stay tuned for my current videos. Even my last sneaker rotation I just did um, last week. Um, I said I was going to be posting a little bit more consistently now, so yeah. Uh, let's, get if, let's get off into it. Um, I got more sneaker reviews on the way, maybe a few talk videos, just normal sneaker content. I want to get back into it. I want to get back into doing what I used to do, you know, like um, have a conversation with you guys, do a talk video, stuff like that, and more so conversate about the sneakers versus just showing them, you know what I mean? For the most part, you already know how a damn sneaker look as far as the colors, especially if it's a model we've seen again and again. So, and only thing that changes maybe the material and the color. So, you know, I like to spark up a little discussion which is uh, why my reviews or my videos might come off a little long with it. Um, best believe when I do put this in the editing program, I cut down a lot of what I had to say because I just, it's just a stream of conscious. I just let it flow because I'm just in the zone, right? So the way I do my sneaker rotations is day one is Monday, day seven is Sunday. That's the end of the week. Monday is the beginning. So day one, Monday, I end up rocking the what thus i still think they shouldn't have called these the what the fours i think they just would have been better off being the top four fours or something like that um obviously you guys and i and i you know usually i just hold the right sneaker up but in this case since these sneakers are both so different and i like the way they both look you know um i just want to hold up both of these uh and also too man tell me if you guys still got these um i lately man the price has been going up on sneakers man like what is up i you know like i think these actually went up some i remember when these was sitting yes jordan force was sitting at one point at least these were and uh i remember people was really on the fence about it and i think i ended up getting mine for either retail or a little under retail it wasn't like the biggest sale deal or whatever but i know i wanted these kicks these even took a little minute to grow on me but some other people it took a lot longer and uh you know might as well pick pick up man before stuff like this happen i think the market now since these are out of the system or whatever or the demand is still there i think if they did a restock on these i think they did do a restock on these like one time ever um as of recent uh might have been either late last year or somewhat of this year maybe once when they was like doing those crazy restocks where they like damn near a bread 11 might pop up or something you know what i mean because they, they'd be like they just like one of them in case you missed it restocks that's what i call them and this was part of the batch and man 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 hopefully y'all picked up guys fly and flames it's gonna be a classic sneaker in years to come you know it's not it's not that joint that get re-retroed again and again these one of the ones that you miss for a while they charge crazy money and stuff like that due to the sneaker being missing from the market and the demand being so high a lot of especially this younger generation like the fours the sixes the ones so that sound about right next up tuesday day two got both of these sneakers because they got two different shoelaces in them i couldn't really too much pick i like the way the green and the gold hit and then i like the way the red and the gold hit flying flames she got like a 49ers kind of like thing right here then you got a little bit of the the bucks a little bit you know what I mean? I know a, foot, a college football team probably this color with the green and gold in a way, or beige. But uh, Flying Flames, man. I wore the Silver Bullets last week. This week I end up rocking these joints right here. Now I don't got a full blown seven kicks this week because I did wear one pair of kicks twice. Um, and I stress to you guys, just wear the kicks, wear the kicks. Um, and that's why I do these sneaker rotations, not to show off or brag, but just to inspire you guys also too. Um, to wear your kicks. This is why I'm not always, oh, you know, I got my, all my Jordan ones. It's like every week of Jordan one week or something like that. You know what I mean? Wear all your kicks, even the ones that's not even known all like that too. I think that's also pretty, uh, you don't see that too much nowadays. And uh, the gold bullets. We already had the silver bullets last week, but this is the gold bullets for Tuesday. So simple right here. I seen the what the Prestos going around. Um, I should have probably swooped them up. I was on the fence about them. Um, you know, that whole what the thing. Might as well capitalize off it now. I know it looked kind of still kind of awkward having Mitch Matt shoes though, but the whole thing is the obviously the what the only just this very few people know. 
I know outside to other people, um, it probably just like look wacky, like what is this mismatch shoe day or something like that. But uh, you know, I don't too much care what anybody say. But um, even with yourself, like how do you feel about that, guys? You look down at your feet, you be thinking like, damn, one black and the other one yellow or something like that. So you know, it's kind of like. Uh, do I feel like being bothered with that? Am I really going to wear that sneaker? And if I am going to wear that sneaker, how many times can I wear it? Because there's no point of getting a sneaker, especially for retail or even more. And then you not even really wearing the sneaker, right? It's kind of like a waste of money. But this one right here, I actually end up picking up uh, from either Finish Line or Foot Locker, one of those stores. It was one of them super sale rack things, you know, when I had a racks in the middle of the floor at the time. And I ended up picking these up for either like 50 or 60. It was whatever it was it was low it might have been actually 40 or 50 to be honest with you because people at least at that time really is not a fan of forest green or like that whole green color um i actually went to wear these uh, again you know what i mean um i was just going through my collection just seeing which kicks i really don't wear all like that um you know just to free up some space let a few go because i don't wear them all like that good thing i wore this because i'm not selling this you know what i mean like this is these, these stand, you know what I mean? Um, I like the look. Uh, I actually started looking for other colors too. Um, this sneaker is not really expensive, but I remember this whole boost this life, you know what I mean? Thing was going around 2016, 2015. And this might have came out a little bit around that 2017 time, a little bit, because that's when boost was kind of tapering off. But uh, I think 918, okay. Okay, so maybe, okay. That's probably the production date on this. But um, so the, these st stayed out for a while. And just as far as like the whole Boost stuff in, in general, you know what I mean? They had that run, they had their way. Boost is still comfortable. And I know that there are secret uh, Boost heads out here, guys. Um, you know, that's still lurking in the bushes. You know what I mean? Making them them good kills on some good Boost sneakers. Boost is still life. It's still comfortable. I do go to other kicks too. But y'all know how I feel as a sneaker dude. I just like to uh, broaden my horizons. Just, just you know, rock every kind of different brand. Well, different kinds of brands, different kicks, stuff that I actually like. And uh, these end up copping for the low. And uh, yeah, man, fly in flames, man. Get yourself a pair of BYWs if you haven't yet. This is the casual lifestyle version. I know they got a hoop version, but I wouldn't hoop in these. I know the warning has been out for a while, but still to this day, I wasn't hooping though. I ended up rocking these on Friday and Saturday. This one right here was definitely, like this is just a regular GR. These was the last to really set up, sell out on Nike website because it's just a GR. And uh, it reminds me of like Georgia. If you ever been down there like Atlanta, you know, you got like that red clay a little bit, just looking up close. You got like that brown and then it's almost kind of reddish in a way. Fly and flames. The Georgia uh, dirt might be a little bit more red than this, but it's close enough, damn near. Um, but anyway, though, you still get those fall vibes. And one of the big reasons um, was because that Pata collab, that Pata Air Max 1, those are flames with the waves going through it. And looking at that fall colorway made me think about the stuff I already have like this. It's crazy how um, something as simple like as this GR as far as color looks similar to that. I know it's on the same model, but that whole Pata wave thing that they got going on, that brings the sneaker to a different level. Definitely props to Pata with that. And you know, with stuff being limited or whatever, I wish they could have just like overdid that sneaker to the point where it was like sitting everywhere. So then everybody could get a pair, but when stuff get limited or whatever, you know, people act like they like sneakers or whatever, you know what I mean? They act like they like it, whatever, whatever. Y'all know how it go if you've been in this something that ain't being sought after all like that that's everywhere them genuine people that pick it up whether it's on sale or the first day it come out or whatever those the those the real ones you know what i mean those the real ones that be like man i actually like this sneaker da, da, da. they can actually legitimately tell you the reasons why they like it but to each his own so yeah so this is fall vibes right here i like this one wore that for friday and saturday because it's such, such a fall vibe sneaker lastly end up rocking the on sunday the white cement four these was just out. I didn't too much plan, plan on wear them. I just put them on since they was like out, like on my sneaker cave floor or whatever, just to put on. Cause I don't put these, I don't put these particularly in the box. I do need another pair though. 
because you know you gotta at least have like two pair of these two pairs of bread fours these one of them essential sneakers that you know how that album is like that cd those of us who remember cds uh you know every time a scratch up where you lose it you always got to go buy the real one and buy it again i need a few copies of this that's how that uh white cement four is and that bread and that bread for you so let me just go back through the run through before i get up out of here monday end up rocking a what the fours i call them the top fours they should have been called the top fours because it's just all of the original fours i believe that a real what the four would be so turned up if they actually do it you know what i mean so just reserve that name for that tuesday end up rocking the gold bullets can't forget the gold bullets you got to have your metals they're definitely flexible like dude you can wear this on campus around the house just something quick just don't go in no hard snow with this because that mesh breather that mesh upper on here at least on this particular one not the business i know some other ones be having like neoprene but um then we got the byw joint flying flames end up rocking this on friday and then on oops i just messed up hold up hold up, hold up. i didn't BYW ended up rocking this on Thursday, my bad. Then Friday, I ended up rocking this on the Air. On Friday, I ended up rocking the Air Max One joint. Um, I forgot the color, probably Sunset or something like that. I forgot. Um, I wore this on Friday and Saturday. And then lastly, I ended up rocking the White Cement Four. Crazy, crazy, crazy too, man. I got more videos on the way. Stay tuned. Sneakers have been going up slowly. My last video, I had talked about how the Flight 89 uh, white and blue joints actually went up. Actually, also too, man, the, the Nike Cortezes for some reason, like the 2011, 2012, like the vintage ones that's like from 06, they actually went up in price because like even this particular color, I'm just like going through my sneaker boxes or whatever. Look at that sneakers. I don't too much wear all like that no more. My Cortez's was one of them. I'm like, damn. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I am out. Peace.